This video will look at the associate prop associative property of addition and multiplication, and we'll just uh, simplify these expressions here. Okay. So the associative property just means that when if if we just write this down this example x plus three in parentheses plus nine, if if everything's being added, you don't just have to add x and 3 first. In fact you can't because we don't know what x is. It's a, it's an unknown number. But basically we can add the 3 and the 9 first if we want to. So even though these are in parentheses. So basically we're just adding like terms. The numbers are like terms. We can add those but the x is not a like term because it's an unknown number. So we just add the 3 and the 9 to get 12 and the answer is just x plus 12, right? That's it. So write this one down, 4 plus parenthesis x plus 2, and just add the like terms and write down the answer. Okay, so 4 plus parenthesis x plus 2, write this down, and get the answer. So all you have to do is see that 4 and 2 are both numbers, x is a known known number, you can't add that, and um, we'll just add 4 and 2 together to get 6, and the answer is 6 plus x. Or you could write it x plus 6, same thing, right? Either way. Alright, let's go on to this example. If you have a half times 5a, write that down and we'll do it. A half times 5a. So the associative property of multiplication it means if you have everything being multiplied you don't actually have to do even though these are in parentheses you don't have to do these two first you can do a half times five first and then times a uh, anyway so all we're doing basically is multiplying a half times five so what you want to do is write five as a fraction what's five as a fraction it's five over one. Then multiply the fractions. One times five on the top, one times five is five, and on the bottom two times one is two. So we have five over two times a. And that's the answer. And you don't have to put in a parenthesis or a product dot, you can just leave it like that. Five over two times a, right? Five over two a. And that's actually another reason why in algebra we usually like the improper fractions rather than the um, mixed numbers because uh, that would be 2 into 5 is twice remainder 1, 2 and a half a doesn't look quite as neat as um, 5 over 2 times a which is the answer okay. so usually like to leave the, fraction, the fractions as improper fractions not mixed numbers okay write this one down and do it 1 third times 2b Okay, and again, like this is, if you have five apples and you split that in two, you get five over two apples, or two and a half apples. Uh, so that's a half of five apples. This is one third of two bananas. One third of two bananas gives what? So anyway, we're just going to multiply the third times the two, right? Two is a fraction. It's two over two over one, right? and you can just do now one times two is two on the top and on the bottom three times one is three two thirds but b so if you have two bananas you take a third of that that means you've got two thirds of a banana two thirds b right anyway write this one down and see if you can do it it's three over seven times seven over three x Okay, 3 over 7 times 7 thirds x. So again, we can just multiply the numbers together, this one times this one. And if you want, you can multiply the tops. 3 times 7 is 21. 7 times 3 is 21. You have 21 over 21x, which equals 1x, or just x, right? But it's even neater to cross cancel. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 3 goes once. See that? 7 into 7 goes once, 7 into 7 goes once. So, 
we get 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 1 is 1. So this whole thing is just, you know, 1 over 1, or in other words, 1x. So we just have 1x or x, right? So um, write this one down and do it. 8 ninths times 9 eighths a. 8 over 9 times 9 over 8 times a. And get the answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'll go and do it now. The easiest thing is to cross cancel. 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 8 goes once. 9 into 9 goes once, 9 to 9 goes once. So on the top we have 1 over 1, which is just 1, right? 1a. One, 1 apple. 1 apple. Same thing as apple, okay? One apple or an apple, same thing. So we just write the final answer as A. It's the simplest way to write 1A, right? Okay, what about if you had 2 times in parentheses 9XY? Write down the answer. Write, write down this and do it. 2 parentheses 9XY. Okay, so again with the associative property, you don't just have to multiply the 9 times x times y, even though it's in parentheses. If, if everything has been multiplied in this expression, so if we want, we can do this. 2 times 9, and then times x, y, right? Um, anyway, we just we can just multiply the 2 times the 9. So 2 nines is 18. So we have 18 times x times y, or 18 x, y, right? So write this one down and do it. 12 times 5ab. So again, you can just multiply the 12 times the 5 to get 60, right? 60ab, and that's the answer.